Hi there, hope you're having a pleasant day wherever you may be. I'm going to do my best not to make a Jurassic Park joke here. I'm at the Dinosaur Discovery Site in St. George, Utah. So the St. George uh, Dinosaur Discovery Site is in exactly where you'd imagine, St. George, Utah. Um, now, this isn't the first time that I've explored dinosaur tracks in the St. George area. Um, if you'd like, you can check out my Warner Valley dinosaur track video. Uh, but what do you say we get back to this one? Back in the year 2000, uh, there was an optometrist, Dr. Johnson, that was excavating his uh, land on his farm here, and he discovered that he had a bunch of dinosaur tracks. Um, and now they've decided to turn it into a museum. Well, what's really cool, both literally and figuratively, is that they decided to build the structure right on top of the site. So inside there's exhibits and uh, fossils on display and things like that, but uh, a good chunk of it is dedicated to showing you the ground as it looks in its regular state, uh, minus what was excavated. But it's really cool because, especially in St. George, it gets pretty hot. Uh, right now it's pretty hot out here, uh, but inside it's very cool, it's very nice. And obviously, since it is a museum, it's great because things are pointed out to you. Uh, you don't have to kind of figure it out on your own, like at the Warner Valley Dinosaur Tracks. Um, but don't get me wrong, that's cool in its own right, and it's really awesome to check them out, uh, you know, out in the wild. But uh, it is also nice to have things uh, spoon-fed to you because it's so much easier to just see it and appreciate it. So what exactly is going on here? Well, millions of years ago, during the Jurassic period, there was a large lake. Lake Dixie is what it's called. Um, and lakes have muddy shorelines. Well, there were dinosaurs at the time. They walked along those shorelines, left some footprints that got preserved in the stone, and millions of years later, we dug them up. Now, the two main types of dinosaurs that left most of the footprints here are the same two types from the Warner Valley track, which makes sense. They're not very far apart from each other, uh, but they were the uh, Grolator and the Ubrontis. And just like at the Warner Valley track, uh, the Ubrontis that created these they think could have been the Diloxosaurus, uh, which is the uh, much larger version than the one that we see in Jurassic Park. And also for the Grolator, they think is the Megapnosaurus. Now what's really interesting is that it's not just walking footprints. Uh, there's actually a handful of different types that uh, you wouldn't normally think about. Like a simple example would be there's tracks of a dinosaur running. Another interesting one is of dinosaurs swimming. Now, how do you get footprints of dinosaurs swimming, you ask? Well, when they get into the water and they start to kick their legs, their feet sometimes hit the ground and they make these long striations. What's interesting also about that is they weren't even sure that these types of dinosaurs did swim. Now they've got the evidence to prove it. And another interesting one, which totally makes sense and I never would have thought of it, was there's evidence of dinosaurs sitting. Yeah. You can see how they kind of uh, have indentations of where their arms and even where their, their ischium or their butt uh, leave an indentation and then it gets up. You know, I've never seen a painting of a dinosaur sitting, I don't think, uh, but it makes sense that they would do it. I mean, they're animals, right? They get tired. In addition to the two major types of dinosaurs, there's also evidence of uh, like a precursor to like mammals, uh, a precursor to like crocodiles. Um, possible precursor to uh, tadpoles and frogs. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot more to see here. Also evidence of like the physical uh, things going on, like uh, ripples uh, from wind and water and things like that and currents and just different uh, examples like that. Also uh, fossilized like tree branches and things like that, which I thought were really interesting. I was wondering what these diagonal lines were as I was looking at things. Uh, it turns out they're like tree branches. Visiting the museum is not very difficult at all. It's not very far from I-15 here in St. George, a very well populated uh, city in southern Utah. And uh, when you get here, there's a, a short little video that you can watch that is actually very interesting because it, it details pretty much everything you need to know as you walk into the museum. Then as you explore the museum, uh, they have like a boardwalk set up over the uh, excavation site and different little kiosks that you can read and uh, different little pointers on the on the rocks to show you exactly what you're looking at, um, which is, like I said, it's really helpful. Um, yeah, the Warner Valley experience is pretty cool because you're seeing it in the wild, but it's nice to have this stuff pointed out to you. In addition to walking on the boardwalk, uh, all around are several other 
uh, fossils and things that are propped up uh, on display with information. There's a lot of information here. It's really interesting. Also have a little area dedicated to showing uh, what it's like to preserve these things. And I think they even have a lab on display, but it's the weekend right now for me, so nobody was working. But it's pretty cool to see all their equipment. Now, since this is dealing with dinosaurs, it's obviously very kid-friendly. There's a lot of things for kids to do. Like there's a little classroom thing where they can go and learn more about and have little hands-on stuff, puzzles and things. Um, and also the gift shop has a lot of dinosaur toys and things like that. Uh, a lot of the, there's a lot of paintings of dinosaurs and things like that. So it's very geared towards kids, but adults, I was in there way longer than I expected because there was just so much to absorb. It's a lot of interesting stuff. Overall, I gotta say this place is really cool. Um, yeah, there's a little fee involved, but hey, it's well worth it. Um, there's a lot to look at, a lot to learn, and uh, I highly recommend it. Well, that does it for this one. Thanks for joining me on this trip to the Dinosaur Discovery Site, also known as the Dinosaur Tracks at Johnson Farm. Uh, at least that's the sign on the freeway says. Um, hope you had a good time, you learned a little something, and I, with that said, I guess I'll see you on the next one.